everyone i am back with one of the new video again and hope all you guys are keeping well and doing well and this time we are going to talk about manage folder assistant uh, assistant uh, in office 365 and this is actually a service you know uh, which alignly runs with with the mrm which is responsible to create the tags and and run this and before we before we get started on with this topic let me tell you about myself so my name is Rizwan and I am one of the senior consultants here working with uh, Alif consulting and let's get started with this video in over here which which talks about managed folder assistant so what is managed folder assistant and why it is being required and what's the use of it so it is a co-conceptual part of retention retention policies which has two actions with it whether to be able to delete the email or move that email from your primary mailbox to an office three uh, to to an archive mailbox so in both the context and over here your mrm is the most important aspect which which needs to ensure that uh, it, it needs to be working in with the help of uh, the the mrm policy or the mrm service and the service which actually is being responsible to be able to get it triggered or run is the service a throttling service which is called as manage folder assistant now what is it and what it does so this is a throttling service now why i am saying this is a throttling service is because uh, this service runs on every seventh day onto your complete organization and it's on and, on, and, and its mailboxes now why why seventh day and how you would be able to get this rectified that which was the seventh day it could have been a possibility that uh, I've already applied the retention policy tax to a policy and I'm expecting those emails to be getting and deleted and I've done it I've just configured it today and I was expecting it to be getting it done uh, e e uh, you know either by, by this day itself or by the end of tomorrow or something like that because whenever I am in a problem or in a situation I would always want my, my issues to be getting and fixed and resolved ASAP so but if, if uh, the service itself would be a throttling service so the word itself means that something is actually getting it to not to work or to be getting it delayed so how we would be able to make make uh, you know ourselves comfortable that yes this this ran on the sixth day and it's only one day remaining now and post that yes this mfa would start running on my mailbox and my emails would either get deleted or either would get moved from the primary to the archive one based on what retention policy i have configured using the retention tags so we need to check and have uh, you know uh, people people with good scripting knowledge or with some good stuff would be able to tell it as if you know what was the last time or the session when mfa ran, ran on this because there's no some gui uh, mechanism or uh, wherein which you would be easily able to get this information available over the portal of our office admin center or an exchange admin center no you need to get this treated using the help of powershell scripts and only using those powershell scripts you'd be able to uh, you know let, let yourself make understandable that where where these emails uh, when these emails would actually get and deleted so We'll, we'll quickly have a quick glimpse of that and that would be easily making it available that how, how does these things works in a video and how we can easily easily understand it and get it fixed so this is basically the mfa work cycle now what does this means exactly what i've explained you the same manage folder assistant that runs uh, with or against the mailboxes it just checks that you know uh, which which retention policy is the one which has been getting in applied to the mailbox if there's no retention policy set to the mailbox or there's, there's the retain the default one which do not have any tags within it or the tags which says never delete gets in applied so definitely MRM is going to process on that mailbox but it is not going to take any action because the tag itself says that you know do not delete the items so it would be in a situation like the retention policy did got applied but it simply the mfa work cycle or the mfa service did not made in any change okay and in the last line if you see uh, in exchange online the schedule is actually set to set it and execute it every seventh day every seventh day and you know you'll not be able to tell you know uh, if you do not need to do this uh, manually 
uh, you know or so you can you can just have to wait for that day and it, it should be getting in processed so how MFA and why why MFA so let's quickly look into this and how to check it I'll, I'll be able to tell you uh, how, how this things needs to be worked in and there's actually a script through which you'd be easily able to tell uh, as if you know when did MFA the multi I'm sorry the managed folder assistant get in processed with this one so this one would uh, you know we will we'll be ending this session with the help of this the scripting sizing over here and I'll quickly walk you through this script and we'll quickly be checking it as if you know if we need to get these things changes and aligned with over here how to get these things checked so uh, what we would do is we'll check uh, so this is basically the script for for manage folder assistance and that one is actually going to show you so let's say if I just need to get it executed for one of my user this is the user Rizwan at Moody12.com which is the mailbox's uh, email address so if I select the script and if I select these stuffs in over here so we'll quickly check this as if you know what all information it gives up over here okay so there is it it says that for this user with display name Rizwan Nuri, last time the MFA, the managed folder assistant, got processed on this mailbox was okay. So this was done on the 27th of January 2022, and this was the time that would be in the in the UTC time zone that is a fixed one. And uh, despite of uh, this this script you know I mean the MRM got processed on my mailbox but it ideally did not delete it in any, any item okay so it will also be telling us if, if there's any item which has been deleted now what we are going to do is so this is just for one user in case I need to check this for all of the users in my organization so I'll simply be selecting this script and we'll check what this returns to us okay so it has started processing it okay so these are all the users within my organization who actually has a mailbox assigned to it because it is most important that it is only going to process against the 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 stuff who has mailbox so if you see in these are the users with mailboxes with their display names this is the last processed identity okay and this is items deleted so I see two of the items getting get deleted for this person in over here if you see so every every time so when it says seventh day okay try and understand this concept so if I need to run uh, if I need to run this command again that is managed folder assistant so I, I need to wait for seven days from this point this is my mailbox okay so 20 adding seven days to 27 which makes it like 27th 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven. So if I would not be doing anything, okay, ideally it would be running on uh, after seven days. That is on the third of February, and as per this timestamp, it is going to it is going to get triggered. But let's say if I need to make some urgent deletions, so it does not make any sense to me that you know uh, I would be checking this and just to make those modifications, I actually have to wait for the third of December to be actually get it processed. So within that case scenario, what I can do is. I can just make the use of this command which is called as start hyphen manage folder assistant hyphen identity and I'm simply going to run this command I believe it's done no it's still taking time there it is I now have the banner blinking without being showing me any details so now it is going to capture the timestamp for today once once it is done okay uh, now I do not know how much time it would actually take in, in the real time if you want I can just run the script and I can check this against my name I'll definitely do that but yes definitely the next time I would be checking in this detail so rather than being showing this for the 3rd of February it is just going to show me today's date maybe in some time so which means that after the execution of this command I am simply telling the MFA service this service the managed folder assistance that please I am not willing to wait for three more days because I still I am not in that condition that I should be waiting in so please just start this service against this mailbox this is what it means and now let me check when I am doing this right away live within this session 
I believe it did get copied. Oops, I'm having some you see this? Initially it was we can check it here. Where is one Nuri? It was twenty seventh. If you want to confirm, see twenty seventh. Now it is thirty because it is taking the UTC time. It is it would take the UTC plus one time in over here. And as per UTC, I am I am setting here in India that is GMT plus five thirty. So it's not the time. So it is taking th the thirtieth. So it takes in the UTC time, and the UTC time right now is twenty two hours, twenty two hundred hours, nine minutes and twenty eight seconds. So you see. It actually works now. From this time, if I'm not going to run this command, start hyphen manage folder assistant, then 30 plus 7, which makes it 6th of February. Okay, I believe I was able to explain you these things in over here. And if you would be having any such issues understanding this, feel free to contact me, and I would be more than happy enough to help you on this, assist you on this. And that would be all concluded from my side for the, for this beautiful session and this beautiful video. Feel free to contact, okay? And you guys take care of yourself and you stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.